Final round of the event, we're facing Chuck Bear. They typically play Snow Variants. While we have Double Veil of Summer, I don't think this hand is very good. Slightly better. And there's the Astrolabe. Hmm. I don't really want to play this Chrome Mox. I think I'm just going to pass for now. Alright, I feel like we're priced into casting the Chromox now. That was a very good brainstorm. Um... So let's do some counting. Next turn, let's say we play a land. And we have Mox Opal available. So 4 plus 4, because we have to pay 1, uh, is 8 and 9, which is enough for Veil and uh, that. So we want to put uh, Ponder on the bottom here. I'm going to fetch now because I don't want to get tripped up by something like a Brep Decay. No second force. That's a bummer. So I chose to play around Abrupt Decay there, which meant shuffling away the ponder. Hopefully we don't get too punished. Typhoon. All right, come on, Doc. Give us some action. I'm fine with that. We have two more draw steps after this attack. Uh, 
Uh, that was actually pretty good. Another force of negation would obviously not be so great. And it resolves, wow. And double veil, pretty good. Ooh, okay. So this was a sneaky good play by our opponent. All right, so now we don't even have to worry about the abrupt decay anymore. I'm going to cast Brainstorm here, because the Brainstorm could theoretically win. It didn't, but it could have. Um... So we get to brainstorm again off of this, getting bulk, and this could still win. If not, we still have the echo as backup. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just going to echo with a bunch of mana floating. I kept the Chrome Mox because I plan on playing it out. We don't want to draw any more mana. So I'm just going to play it so there's one less card we don't want to draw in our deck. Oh, I don't want to do that. Thank you for giving me the warning. Oh kidding me all those draws ah <laughs> uh, that was unfortunate but that happens sometimes so we echoed twice that turn didn't draw a tutor off either ponder brainstorm so seven plus 12, 19 looks we had and didn't hit a tutor effect. Or a tendrils, or ad nauseum. That was a little bit brutal, but it also doesn't matter that much. This match uh, is mostly for you know, just pride of being the last XO. This seems okay. Our opponent is mulliganed. And I'm jamming a turn one grid, I'm getting bad lands with this land. So 
So hoping that this resolves, the plan is to then next turn burning with your peer, turn three peer. I think our opponent has a force and yeah. They were deciding on what to pitch or if they had time to abrupt decay. I'm going to brainstorm first because I think it's pretty likely we had a land. That was really good. Um, that's eight mana this turn, which is just one short. All right, I'm going to keep my options open because I want the Burning Wish on top in case this one gets countered or we can use it next turn to get Thoughtseize. Actually, pretty happy that that happened. Much uh, that I didn't expend the resources into casting Peer only to have it get countered by Burning Wash. Sure. They're down to two. Two cards in hand, that is. We have a Dark Ritual on top, so I like my odds of this Peer resolving. There are F6 there. Okay, if that was a Leoval, that was going to be very sad. <laughs> Alright, so they have one card in hand. Pretty much has to be a Fluster Storm. And I am not going to show them Carpet. So, like, I could Tendrils here. If their last card in the hand is Veil, vale, that would suck. Because I don't think it's Veil, vale, though. Because I don't think the deck plays two forests anyway. And they'd have to have a basic forest to fetch. Did I reveal my hand like a dummy? It doesn't look like I did. All right, so that one was a peer win. I believe that was turn four. It was. I don't love this hand, but I'm going to keep it. Like, no protection. Our mana sources are temporary. It's a little bit of a trap. That was a good draw.
see if we can find a second land here. I like all of these. I do want the ritual on top. I realize that this claw probably is not going to be here when we untap, but I'm playing it out now between the counter spells and abrupt decay or Oko. I could have kept the burning wish on top, but then we're not doing anything for a full another turn. Ceremonious Rejection. Spicy. For those of you that don't know, it's a one blue counter, a colorless spell. I had that in my head, believe it or not. I even thought about getting the basic swamp. I thought about getting the swamp there, and then I looked at the abrupt decay and said I should probably get a green source. And they have Veil down here, so I'm going to block the back to basics. They have three in hand. I think we're supposed to just play out Claws. It sucks because the Euro is going to start drawing a card for turn for them. But we can't really jam right now anyway. Even if we wanted to, we can't do much. Hmm. So if our opponent has nothing, we could peer. So this Oko is like sort of an issue because we can't play out Wishclaw. And if we do, it's just going to die. If we pass, we lose our red source. Or they attack us for nine and then we're at three. I think the correct play here is the jam. It looks like they have hard cast force negation. Uh, we're a mana short of casting ad nauseum, so we can't do that. We're gonna have to pass. And uh, we're gonna attempt to block this Uro, but our opponent, if they want, could swap Astrolabe and Wishclaw, and then we just take six.
I think we ended up losing this game because of the back to basics. Like, we got out of it pretty quickly, but it cost us two resources that we then needed two turns later. Okay, so we ended up losing this one. Not the end of the world. Uh, so now we're 6 1. We're still locked for top 8. And uh, yeah, we'll be coming up shortly, so stay tuned.